Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me slash vlog. I'm so excited for this week. I look a disaster. Okay, are we peeping? Like, it's been, I feel like, almost a month now since I haven't had eyelash extensions. I currently have on press-on nails. Um, my toes don't even get me started. Like, I have been just, like, pushing back my maintenance for this specific reason. And now the time has finally come, and I'm so excited. We are going to spend the whole week just getting ready for my baby moon so it's currently 8 35 and we're about to leave the house here in the next couple of minutes and head over to the nail salon that is our first stop on the agenda i'm gonna get a new set which means i actually need to take these press-ons off while i'm talking to you guys i know i'm gonna get my toes done and then we are going to head over to my esthetician for a facial my face has been like breaking out like crazy i have like a ton of dr like dry spot i also haven't seen her in a couple weeks so yeah we're gonna go to her this afternoon i'm also gonna get a wax it's been a hot minute since i had a wax like the last time i got waxed you guys was literally like i don't even know well actually i can tell you i can go back and look at the last maintenance vlog that i posted was back in march i haven't had a wax I haven't had a wax since like March. It's been a good like probably like eight weeks. My hair does grow back slower down there because I've had a couple of laser treatments on there and I do plan to go back to getting laser hair removal once I'm not pregnant anymore. Probably this fall starting winter time but it doesn't grow back that fast but it has been a while since i got a wax so we're doing that today and then we're gonna come home we're gonna do some like deep conditioning treatments to my hair because i am getting it done on wednesday we're gonna get a ponytail which i'm really excited about it's like a barbie ponytail i've never had one before so i want to try it out because why not so we're gonna do that on wednesday and then thursday we have what's thursday and then Thursday, we're getting our eyelashes put back on. Oh my gosh. That's the one thing I'm so excited about. Like, I cannot, I can barely look at myself without eyelash extensions. It's so bad. <laughs> so that's basically the rundown, the agenda for everything that we have planned. I feel like this is going to be like a major transformation type of video. Get ready with me because I'm starting out real rough. Okay, I'm also really tired. <laughs> tired? I am currently... 35 weeks but by the time we get to the end of this video i will be officially nine months pregnant so the baby moon is going to be on thursday i have a couple of different things planned we're staying locally in our city at a hotel and it's just for one night just to kind of just have like one more day just me and aaron before the new baby gets here and our boys are going to stay with my mom. She's going to pick them up from school. They're going to stay the night. And then she's just going to drop them back off at school. And then we'll go pick them up. So our, we're staying at a hotel. Like we're staying at a hotel that has a spa inside of it. And then we have dinner reservations for this um, like rooftop restaurant in downtown Dallas. And then we have a couple of other things planned as well if we have time to do them. So yeah, they'll just hang out with me. This is going to be like my get ready with me for my maternity pictures kind of vlog so yeah i'll see you guys once we get to the nail shop thank you to 786 for sponsoring today's video 
Lately, I've been keeping my nails super sleek and simple, so for today's color, I'm using Romatana, which is almost like this iridescent light pink. It's super clean and simple, and it's perfect for the springtime. In addition to this nail polish color, 786 website has a ton of different colors and kits you can choose from, which is perfect if you're somebody who likes to do your nails from home, or if you just have a hard time picking a color like me at the nail salon, you can definitely shop these and then just take them to the salon how I did to get your nails painted the color of your choice. Plus, if you click the link in my description box, you can save 10% off at checkout. And this is what the final product looks like. I had her do probably about two or three coats on the tips of my fingernails in this light pink shade to achieve this look. So again, if you guys are interested, click the link in my description box to shop. My happy place. Here's literally booked out, okay? The girl rented it out. No, I'm kidding, but there's like never anybody in here early in the mornings when I come, which is why I love coming here. So I got my toes done. They look so, so good. I love going to her. Um, the girl that I used to go to, like she wasn't, I scheduled with her, but she wasn't there this morning. Um, so Karen did my toes. She's the owner of the salon. Love her, love her. Okay, my nail tech, like I had originally scheduled an appointment on Thursday. I'm gonna try to do everything possible to keep you keep y'all still sorry I had originally scheduled an appointment for Thursday and then I rescheduled it for today because like I just don't want to have to do a lot on the day of that we're checking into the hotel and I had originally scheduled to get my toes done a wax my nails and my lashes all in one day and so I was just like let me spread it out and get it done sooner so I guess when I rescheduled it just didn't go into the system and I should have texted her that was my bad so she already had people <clears throat> or clients in front of me for the rest of the day until 3 30 so I'm gonna go home well we're gonna go get lunch first you guys should have already seen my nails at this point in the video because of the sponsorship but if you're wondering why I don't have them done right now it's because I went back and got them done later in the day so I just wanted to clarify that but I'm literally starving and I have no idea what to eat because I just I'm really in the mood for something light like I don't want I don't want fast food I really what I really want is like a nice like home cooked meal but I can't get that or do that right now at the moment so I think I'm just gonna go buy Starbucks get a pink drink and a banana nut bread and call that lunch I haven't had breakfast or anything today like I haven't ate anything but my appetite is just not there and so yeah okay everybody is tweaking out today I guess on the road but yeah that's um that's what we're gonna do I guess I'll see you guys at Starbucks can I have a venti pink drink and a banana nut bread Yes. Yes, please. I don't for you. That's all. I'm sorry. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> okay.
Okay. I still have about an hour till I go get my wax. And is there plenty of other things I could be doing right now with my time? Yes, but I'd rather hang out with you guys. So, <laughs> I'm getting ready to take my supplements for the day. I've been taking a lot of my stuff like midday and at nighttime because of my morning nausea and stuff. But, um... You guys know what my videos, my most famous videos are on my channel or were on my channel because they have RIP, they're resting in the unlisted right now. I do that a lot, um, like unlist my videos. I don't know why, toxic trait, but anyways, it is what it is. <laughs> I, that is not to say that I'm not going to do those type of videos or incorporate the tips and tricks that I do into my videos, I'm just not gonna directly title my videos that. So this section is gonna be one of those portions of the videos. The girls that get it, get it. If you're new here, ask somebody in the comments, okay? <laughs> it's baby moon week, so I've been taking my fenugreek since Sunday. So fenugreek basically, if you don't know, it, I don't know what the like actual, it says, boost reproductive health so if you don't want to end up like me you might want to stay off of this um let me close the door boost exercise performance improves digestive health decreases inflammation all those things right but it really just makes you taste and smell sweet so that's why i'm taking it <laughs> which is so funny because i knew when i posted that i was pregnant that a ton of people were going to be like it's all those get ready with me's that are catching up to you but like listen <laughs> yes yes and yes and no it was it was really the the birth control that did me dirty it's every single time i've come off the pill for like a month i've gotten pregnant that's basically what happened with carter my first son i had taken birth control for one month only just to regulate my cycle because i was having really bad cramping so that's what my ob prescribed to me at the time and the month i got off of the birth control i literally got <laughs> i literally got pregnant and then I was taking, then I had an IUD, switched over to the pill before Carson. I stopped taking the pill for one month because it was like making me break out like crazy. And I was going to switch to a different pill, but you have to have like an adjustment time period there, like of whatever. And in those 10 days of switching pills, I literally got pregnant with Carson. <laughs> and that's basically what happened this time. I was going back to having an IUD because I was getting tired of the pill. It was starting after like a year and a half of being on it or two years, it was starting to make my face really break out, wasn't enjoying the symptoms, side effects, etc. So I was gonna try out my and IUD for a little while. And in that window of literally like two weeks, I got pregnant, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna take two of the fenugreek pills. They will start working, for me, they start working within 24 hours, like I'll notice sweet smelling secretion after like 24 hours but if you're haven't tried it out before i would say start taking it like two three days at least before and then like consistently keep taking it also chlorofresh fresh because it's just an internal deodorizer keeps us all nice and smelling feeling good down there and then some type of probiotic i literally have a ton of probiotics which i would all recommend i think they're all really good brands i really like the hum private party it's a probiotic plus it has cranberry in it if you're more prone to utis then i would recommend the harmony urinary tract health by eu natural because this one has <clears throat> a supplement in it that's actually better for your urinary tract health than cranberry so if you're more somebody who's like more prone to like utis especially surrounding the the topic at hand this is probably the better option if you're not really a UTI girly, any kind of like probiotic cranberry mix will work. This is the Azo Daily Probiotic. So that's the one I'm gonna take right now. And then I have to take my iron supplement because I'm anemic. So that's pretty much it <clears throat> as far as what I'm taking this week in preparation. I usually take all of the above except for the fenugreek. I say that a lot, but for those wondering i don't take fenugreek every single day or like on a consistent basis just because it's more of a luxury type of 
feel, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Like special occasions type of thing. <laughs> I'm going, I was gonna say I'm gonna start packing my bag, but I'm gonna show you guys the outfits that I got because we might have to go to the mall because let me just show y'all. Let me just show y'all. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 12.55. Your alarm is set. Thank you. I need to leave here by 12.55 to make my appointment on time. Confession, I have not made my bed in over a week and a half, you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much how life is going right now. So this week, I'm taking it extremely slow. I got a mic, so hopefully you guys can hear me better because I know everybody's like, your voice is so soft, and then there's like background noise from my apartment, stuff like that. So I got a mic, so hopefully that will help some with audio, fingers crossed. Y'all let me know if y'all can tell the difference or not. I got my mesh key order in yesterday, and so I had ordered this white dress. It looks like this. I'll try to insert a picture of what it looks like on the model. I got it in a size medium because i'm large i don't even think i've showed you guys my belly well we'll do it later anyways <laughs> but i really really like it the material is really nice and i love dresses that are like a nice material and supportive enough that they can hold up my boobs without having to wear a bra because it's obviously like spaghetti strapped and even wearing a strapless bra under some stuff just doesn't look right so this holds up my boobs i tr tried it on last night i like it so originally i got it because aaron's older brothers their birthdays are close together they're having a boat party next week or the week after next i'll be 38 weeks pregnant so i don't know if i'm going to be attending i would like to go but i'm also scared i don't want to go into labor on the boat so y'all will either see me on there or not but either way we're going to celebrate with them that whole weekend so you guys will i'm gonna take you guys to hang out with me so this is originally what i got it for because it's an all-white party right <laughs> but if i don't wear it there then i'll probably just wear it to dinner or whatever and then for this week's dinner with aaron for like or where we're going on thursday i got this dress i think this is so cute i had been looking for something like this my whole pregnancy that basically just had like a cutout in the um stomach area because like it covers my stomach and just has like a little bit out so it's like cute but not you know too too much and then the only problem with this is whose titties is this covering okay i literally put it on yesterday right it's supposed to like sit like this i don't know how well you guys can see me because the lighting in the background right there but it's supposed to cover your boobs, right? Well, when I put it on, my boobs are like under it. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to tape my boobs, but I also feel like now I need to get a backup dress, but I can't order anything offline because today's Tuesday, Thursday is the dinner. It's not gonna come. So I'm really just praying, fingers crossed that that works out for me i did try this new method of like taping my boobs and it did work so i'm hoping that everything will be fine because it's backless so i can't even wear like a strapless bra with it or anything and it's really cute on but you know the boobs are the problem but that's okay because after i'm done breastfeeding slash pumping and i'm saying that in every video because i might do formula i might breastfeed i might pump i really don't know i'm just gonna give I'm just gonna try my best <laughs> so but anyways after i've been postpartum for a while i'm getting my boobs done you guys so yeah i'm not getting implants right now in my head that's what i think so don't hold me to that but i'm pretty sure i'm not getting implants i don't really have any desire to have bigger boobs um because my chest is already pretty larger on the app you know more on the larger sides than average and it always has been but I want to lift okay because I'm 22 about to be 23 and it's like I, I get it I'm a mom but I'm not about to have mom boobs anymore that's like the one thing that I know for sure that I'm getting done is my boobs so I've been looking at a couple of different doctors but we'll talk more about that once I get closer to that process but yeah your girl's getting your girl's gonna have boobs done and if i don't snap back after this baby either i'm getting 360 lipo so i already told y'all right now it is what it is 
I got some Bottega sandals. If you guys saw these in my last video, they look like this. But I'm thinking about wearing these with the white dress. I think I'm going to buy the bag from Bottega that matches these shoes as well. Listen, I don't know how to dress, so I'm a matchy-matchy girl. Like, okay, I need a, I'm a set type of girl. Like, shoes and bag, they already match. I just have to pick one other item to put it together. That's me. I'm not a fashion girl, which is why I don't have a lot of Instagram content because... Do y'all see what I have? I have a hoodie. I have a Nike hoodie on and some yoga pants from Target. Currently is my outfit of the day. And these $15 Yeezy dupe slides that I got from Target as well. I will link these. These are super comfortable. And um, yeah, so <clears throat> I found those the other day when I was at Target. But okay. But I think that would be cute with this. But then I was like, okay, I need a bag to match the color shoes. So I was looking on uh, Bottega's website and they do have a bag that matches. So I'm probably just gonna get that. And then the shoes that I'm thinking about wearing with this dress are downstairs. I don't really like the shoes, but I don't know what other type of shoes I can wear right now. So let me just show you guys my, keep the dress in your head of what the dress looks like, right? <clears throat> I saw these shoes because who was I watching? I want to say it was, um, dang, I was watching somebody's YouTube channel or Instagram and they had these shoes, but they had them in like a different color. They had them in like pink or yellow or something, which they're so cute in that color. But I was like, okay, these are like really cute for like pregnancy because I can't wear any heels right now. I don't know how to walk in heels anyways, even if I wasn't pregnant, <laughs> but they're like, you know a little bit of a height to them and i was like okay those would be cute i can wear those with my dress for my date or whatever so i got them in the color black child also my house is it's not a mess it's just my kids all their easter stuff they got is over there and then my computer and stuff but okay so my first initial thought when I pulled them out the box was like, these look like grandma shoes and what the heck. And Aaron was like, they look very old. <laughs> and I was like, yikes. <clears throat> but they look so cute in the other colors. So if I end up returning them, I'm just gonna get them in a different color. But they look, they look like this. And granted in the black, they do look, they are giving me a little bit like my Nana rest her soul would wear these would wear these but i don't really know what else to do unless i like i don't think they look so bad let me show them to you guys on my feet like they look kind of grandma e ish when you're just looking at them straight on but i'm gonna show you guys what they look like on my feet okay this is what it looks like on i don't know i kind of it's growing on me a little bit now I don't know my feet are extra swollen so don't mind that they're like popping out of the sides but i don't know they're not horrible what do y'all think it's not it's not horrible right but it's like casual low platform comfortable a little bit dressy or ish right okay my camera totally cut me off earlier when i was talking about the shoes but whatever we'll figure it out by tomorrow at least once my hair is done then i'll kind of have more of an idea maybe i'll get a different maybe i'll wear a different outfit or something more casual i don't know it's so hard to dress the bump i don't care what anybody says it's hard to dress your bump unless you're rihanna and you literally could just wear any anything you want basically but i'm not rihanna so i gotta i gotta I gotta trust the bump like a regular person. Anyways, I keep forgetting that I rearranged my entire bathroom setup, but I'm about to just like freshen myself up before I go get my wax.
I can't change it. The reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name. I'm all over the place. I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. Still finding myself, let alone a soulmate. I'm just saying. Feel like we wanted the same. Our relationship changed. That already never existed. Whenever they say something about us, you listen. and stuff I went back to finish getting my nails done which you guys have already seen like I said what else and that pretty much summed up my day yesterday as far as like maintenance and getting ready wise so today is Wednesday and we have a hair appointment so I was texting her yesterday and I was just like do I need to come blow dry or shampoo like because I knew I needed to wash my hair but I didn't know if I need to blow dry and she's like yeah you could just blow dry it a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect so I was like okay so I washed my hair this morning deep conditioned it blow dried my hair and then our appointment is at it was supposed to originally be at 10 but she rescheduled me to 12 30 so I'm gonna leave here around like probably 11 45 ish just so i can make sure i get there on time and i know where to go because i've never been to this hair stylist before i don't know if i told you guys but i'm getting a barbie ponytail that's the only thing that i have on the agenda for today i'm about to edit basically up to what you guys have seen so far in the meantime because it's like nine o'clock in the morning and eat some breakfast I feel like the whole look is not going to look complete until I get my lashes done on Thursday. Like, I wish I would have scheduled to get my lashes done first, but for some reason I scheduled to get them done last, which I think was a mistake, but it's okay. Once the lashes are on, the whole look is going to be like, cute. Um, I'm going be, I'm to be feeling a little bit cute again, because right now I feel like dead inside. <laughs> We had Taco Bell before I go get my hair done. I left a little bit early. I'm putting in the maps now so that, um, oh dang, it's closer than I thought it was. It's only 20 minutes away. I was thinking that it was like further than that. Uh, no, it's okay. Thank you. Phew. It's so cloudy and gloomy outside today. It better not rain while I'm getting my hair done. Damn it. Um, ah! All my fries spilled. 
the nacho fries from Taco Bell. Chef's kiss. Okay. It doesn't get any better. So I have a couple minutes before I need to leave. We're gonna get on Target.com and not Target inside because Lord knows I don't need to go in there. Okay, so the plan for tomorrow is wake up, get my eyelashes done at 10 o'clock. I should be done by like 12 because I'm getting a new set put on. So I feel like I should be done by like 12 and then we don't check into the hotel until like 3. So I was thinking it would be fun to either one go to the movies before we go to the hotel or i wanted to get like permanent bracelets put on like like little matching permanent bracelets i just think that's cute they've opened a couple places in dallas that do that and then aaron's been wanting to get a tattoo like obviously i can't get a tattoo right now and since we don't know the gender of the baby he can't get the baby's name tattooed on him which is what he did pretty much like with the other two boys like before they were born i think he did carson's before he was born maybe i'm lying right after but he has the boy's name tattooed on him so i know he wants to get some type of tattoo so i was thinking we'll probably do that at night after we leave the restaurant i don't plan on like like sleeping a lot or really even spending like a whole bunch of time at the hotel to be honest because like me and aaron never get the chance to like be out together like late at night anymore because we have kids obviously and as we should we keep our kids 24 7 so yeah i just think that would be fun to like maybe like walk around downtown or like get tattooed like him get a tattoo or like just do something originally i thought we were going to be more at the hotel because i thought we were going to be able to do like massages and stuff like that and just like take more advantage of the amenities but come to find out they don't let pregnant people do like basically anything in there so yeah kind of like on my own that reminds me i need to get a swimsuit because i do have a pool so we could go to the pool i don't have any swimsuits well i got swimsuits from skims but i got them for like more postpartum so <sighs> let me pull off because you know people be fucking weird I got some from Skims, and it's like the long sleeve kind of thing, and I um I can't fit it over my belly right now, so I need to get a swimsuit from Target, or just like a plain black swimsuit. I'm not trying to be cute or nothing, because I'm literally nine months pregnant, and so, yeah, but this guy just started walking by my car, like, don't do that. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Like, we're in a huge parking lot. There's so much space. Why are you being weird? Why are we weird? I don't even think sometimes men understand like how uncomfortable they can make women just at the simple fact of like not that it's even intentional but just like you know you could choose to not okay I'm here and my hair appointment to get my hair done it's 12 20 I'm just documenting this for the simple purpose of like if things go left y'all will see this if they don't then it'll be cool but <clears throat> dash cam update so i'm here getting my hair done i was reluctant to book my hair appointment with this girl not because she's done anything to me not because i know her with the black and blue but her policies were just very like you know don't come in here saying nothing complaining if you got stuff to do for the rest of the day don't even show up um if your shit ain't how i like it and i don't got time for you i'm sending you out <laughs> like you know and i just feel like a lot of hairstylists are starting to get that way with their like booking policies and i mean like to a certain extent as you should because it's your business you're an entrepreneur you can do whatever you want but it's also just like i feel like the customer service aspect of like getting your hair done and the experience is just like not nerve-wracking but it's just like not enjoyable anymore like okay i scheduled my appointment was originally scheduled at 10 o'clock and i'm not saying anything to like say this about her personally she's just like one of the people of many who i was looking at who just kind of had similar things to this 
but like my appointment was at 10 o'clock right I scheduled it a month ago and so I'm texting her to follow up with her about my appointment just to make sure that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing right and then you reschedule me not even 24 hours in advance but your cancellation policy is that I need to give you 48 hours or something like that in advance or I'm not getting my deposit back and if I show up five minutes late don't even come you know what I mean like their policy is so strict but it just like never on the flip side is reciprocated you know what I mean like I feel like for most like hairstylists and people who are in this industry their policies get like that because they have bad experiences with customers and then they feel like they need to like protect themselves from running into these type of clients and they can take whoever they want because it's their business right but it's just also like I miss like good service like nice friendly like I texted her I was being nice she was held to dry with me which you know maybe I'm just like an over friendly person and I just try to go out of my way to be really nice and polite to people and not everybody is like that and then I texted her and I was like hey I'm just letting you know that I'm here whenever you're ready she was just like okay which is nothing wrong with that it's just like a difference of like the experience I think when someone goes out of their way to be more personable especially if it's like your first time coming to someone first time client I don't know that's just my opinion I mean I guess I'm here if you're good at what you do people go and book regardless and her work on Instagram does look good so fingers crossed that my hair turns out cute and how I like it and won't run into no issues but I just wanted to say my piece about that because like <clears throat> The people who I go to or I recommend to you guys, I genuinely love the experience that I have with them. They're super sweet. So, not that I haven't gone in there yet, so I'll update you guys when I get done. But, uh, um, yeah, I just think it's important to be able to go to people and get your services done and feel comfortable while you're, like, in their care. Because you're also paying, like, they're doing the service for it, but you're also something that you're investing your money into and paying for. And it just be hard nowadays to find people who just, like like what they do they like being around people which i feel like is a part of the job and are just polite and courteous <laughs> so yeah we gonna see what happens my appointment's in six minutes and she ain't said nothing to me so and her policy is you cannot come inside until she tell you you can come inside <laughs> So, I'm just sitting out here, about to pee on myself. Thought I would rant about that. <laughs> Y'all wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Okay, my final update on my hair review or the girl that I went to is... I did not have the best experience. She ended up being... I want to say 25 minutes late to my appointment and didn't even text me. I was like, hey, I'm going to be late. She just pulled up and like was like, oh, you can come in at like 12.55 or something like that. And then as soon as I walked in, she was like, and what service are you here for? And I was like, Barbie ponytail, still just being nice. And then there was a point in time where like she stopped doing my hair and was like, texting behind me for like 15 minutes so I'm not gonna like mention her Instagram or her pay in information or whatever but that's how it ended up going so I just thought I would let y'all know we at Target I don't know how I feel about my hair every time I get my hair done I'm literally like I don't like it's just like it's an adjustment period right right and then I got the swoop on this side because I was trying to be you know out of my comfort zone which I shouldn't have done I think I want it on this side because that's how I normally part my hair and then I just feel like I have like a very egg shaped head I don't like it. ah I gotta stop complaining about how I look because I feel like I do that a lot like I like drag every little thing about myself but um yeah this is what the hair looks like I got an 18 inch bundle 
if you will. I'm kind of wishing I maybe would have went a little bit shorter, a little flirty. Like, because I think it would have been, like, a little bit more flirtier if it was, like, you know, maybe, like, right here or something. But it's okay. We're not worried about it. Um, I'm at Target right now getting the drive up because I just have been procrastinating getting it for the last two days. And it's got my kids' chocolate milk and stuff in it, so we need to get that. But, um... I think we're gonna go to the beauty supply. I think I wanna get like little clips to put in it just to, you know, give it a little. Say good morning. Let me turn the air down. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are going to the donut shop. It is baby. Yay! <laughs> we're going to go to the eater donuts. That's to go. That's gonna be so fun. Yeah, we're gonna go to the donut shop today since it's Thursday, but my mom's taking them up. My mom will probably take them to get donuts to promise you on Friday because my mom is kind of the one who started the whole like Friday donut thing like when I was younger. So she'll probably take them too, but Grandma, our grandma, um, our grandma will take us to our house. Yeah, she's gonna pick them up from school, but I figured I'll just take them just in case since I'm not picking them up or taking them in the morning. It's Miles Friday, so we're gonna do that, and then we're also gonna try a new Starbucks drink, and then we gotta, I gotta go home and like clean up a little bit before my lash appointment because my bathroom is a mess, and I really don't wanna come home to a dirty house, so I'm gonna go home. We're gonna go get this new Starbucks drink I saw on TikTok, or was it TikTok? It was Instagram, and then go home i'm gonna clean and meet y'all at my lash appointment we also probably got to go to best buy and get another camera my camera started tweaking out yesterday so i don't really remember where i ended off the vlog or like talking to you guys i think we were going to get snow cones but i honestly like i don't know if the footage is even like salvageable if that makes sense so look at that yeah. we don't talk about room no Hi, can I have a venti pink drink with um, peach juice and raspberry syrup? Can I also add sweet cream cold foam? And you say vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Yes. And then can I have a turkey bacon sandwich? Uh, yes, let me make sure that we have the peach juice because I have my cup over here. I'm gonna make sure that we have it now. Okay. All right, yeah, we need to, what else do we have? Uh, the turkey bacon sandwich. I got that And that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Girl. When I was in the nail shop the other day getting my nails done, I saw one of my subscribers. And she was like, hey. And I was like, hey. And I was so embarrassed because I literally looked a mess. And I looked like I was dying in there. Like, I freaking... I've been, I was looking how I've been looking with y'all. Y'all y'all be seeing me, so she she knows what's up. I be looking a mess, but I literally looked I literally looked a hot ass mess. Oh, trying to get out of this parking lot is like the most dangerous thing. I'm really about to reverse and call it today because it ain't even it ain't even worth my time. I can't see. 
I don't know where this car is coming. And then of course this, please don't pull behind me, Tahoe. Of course you are. Of course that's what you would choose to do. You would choose violence on this cloudy day. All right, fuck it, here we go. Taste test time. I waited just for you guys. This is what it looks like. I should take a picture for Instagram. <clears throat> That's better than a regular pink drink. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> that is busting. That's my favorite drink now. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's giving. It's giving. Are gonna be so mad at me. Wait, I might I might not have messed up. No, I, I messed up. Dang. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, I got on live. Big mistake apparently, because I didn't bring my purse with me in the car when I came to get when I went to drop off the boys, I just took some cash, like out my purse to get donuts or whatever. Dang. I don't have a camera battery. This battery's gonna die. I thought I had put one in my pocket. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I don't, I'm not, I'm not feeling it in my pocket. I swore I bought one now because I was like, just grab it just in case, girl. Did it. I don't have no camera battery. So if my camera dies, um, let me tell y'all what kind of lashes I'm getting. My maternity pictures are supposed to be back today. Okay, I'm getting 10 to 14 mm D curl classic, not classic, hybrid cat eye. That's what I'm getting on my lashes. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm literally so sorry. Um, I'm sorry to my lash tag too, cause hopefully she usually has my card on file. I didn't bring my card. I didn't, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm lacking right now. Okay, like, bad. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. Okay, at least I have enough to pay her in cash for my set, just in case she doesn't have my, she doesn't have my card on file. But dang, I'm sick. I can't believe I did that. It's because instead of going in the house and cleaning my bathroom, like I told you guys, I was gonna do I sat on live for 30 minutes in the garage and didn't get out the car <laughs> and then I just pulled off and I wasn't even thinking about it dang I don't got no lip chap or nothing but anyways I'm about to go in my appointment's at 10 she said she was like five minutes running five minutes behind but I'm gonna go in there and pee and eat up her snacks so oh the battery light just came on too it's okay because like y'all don't really see me talking about or I like, see her doing anything she does my lashes anyway so before on that song that came out in 2016 and was like carrot line you know you know what i'm talking about <laughs> if you was like my age in 2016 or a little bit older that was your shit um that's how i feel right now okay that is that's my baby oh my god lashes done and i have immediately started acting different you'll see me you'll see me look <clears throat> Don't mind my hair because it's messed up, but super cute. I'll leave, um, oh, I got an eye booger, dang. <laughs> I'll leave my lash tags information like I always do in the description box. And then um, on the screen, I'll put what I asked for, even though I told you guys, but just in case you want to like screenshot it or something. Let me close my eyes. Cute. Okay, after you get your lashes done, like, you know, when you're just driving back at the car, you feel like that bitch, you're listening to City Girls, Ruby Rose, you know. Bye -bye. Okay. It's like one o'clock now, and I don't really know what we're gonna do because checkout isn't, I mean, check in is in two hours, so I feel like it's not a lot of time. Originally, I wanted to go get like 
those bracelets um, like put on, but we have to drive all the way to Dallas and then drive all the way back to where our hotel is. And like that's a lot of back and forth. Ponytail swinging, hurting. <laughs> but so <clears throat> I think I'm really just gonna chill. I'm gonna call Aaron, see what he's doing. Go get um, maybe some lunch or something before we check in. Cause I wanna go to the hotel and still be able to do some of the spa stuff maybe like go to the pool, which reminds me. I need to go pick up that swimsuit from Target that I got. I gotta pee, but besides that, that's the plan for right now. Probably just go get lunch, check into the hotel, and then yeah, we'll go, we'll go from there. So probably next time I see you guys. Well, if I get lunch, I'll take y'all with me, but if it's not like McDonald's or something. <laughs> Walker, this is Britt calling from RH Rooftop Dallas. I'm so terribly sorry, but we have an unforeseen maintenance issue and are closing for the remainder of the day. This does unfortunately mean we are canceling all reservations for this evening. We are terribly sorry, and if you wish to reschedule with us, our number is 214-520-7255. We hope to see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Are you kidding me? I've been having like, first of all, I like my ponytail is coming undone. But anyways, that's another story. I'm having the worst luck, luck lately. I don't know what it is. I need to start putting the evil eye on my social media. It was right when I started back posting back on Instagram. So somebody on Instagram don't like me. Whoever you are, please stop. Because <laughs> every time I'd be like, oh, I'm having a good day or it's going to be a good day on Instagram. I like yesterday or was it the day before yesterday? I had like a really bad day. I just didn't like show you guys a lot of the parts of my day, but child <laughs> so it was just like little like petty stuff that kept happening to me all day but um our reservations are canceled due to an unforeseen maintenance issue i don't know if you guys will be able to hear that uh very well but <clears throat> yeah we're supposed to go to the rh um rooftop restaurant in dallas and they just canceled the plans so i don't know what to do I don't, I don't know what to do. <sighs> this is turning me into a shit show. I literally have such a cute dress to go to a nice restaurant. And I don't want to go to like, I'm sorry, it's no shade if you think these places are nice. But like, places that you don't have to have a reservation for necessarily, but you could still go that are like nice. Like, Ruth Chris, Ocean Prime, like, those are not like, mm, I don't like those. I don't really like those. Like, the food is not that good. They just be saying Ruth Chris and be making it expensive when it be tasting like Texas Roadhouse. So I don't want to go there. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Oh, here's day two of moving into my house. I got my washer and dryer delivered this morning. I'm about to just get on and see if I can find. Insta-worthy restaurant just outside of Dallas. <laughs> I'm about to get on TikTok. There was another Brand place new restaurant in downtown that I wanted Dallas. to go to. This shit sucks, man. I'm so mad. That place was like Six perfect. Sexy Dallas date night restaurants. Okay, the next place that I wanted to go was the Monarch. Okay, so like when you're booking on their website, it says you have to have like a, um, like, like you can sit by the window basically, which means you have a view of downtown Dallas is what I want to do. But I guess they like, they're saying that they don't have any availability for just two people. Like it has to be a party of four or more because they charge like $125 per person. I guess it's like an entry fee. So that's bogus as hell. Okay, so for two guests, the only available times they have is 5 p.m., 5 p.m., 5.15, and 9.45. I'm not going to eat at no 9.45. I'm gonna be in bed. <laughs> I am sick. Thank you for calling Monarch in Dallas. For hours and location information, press 1. For reservations of 9 or less or general inquiries, press 2. Listen, okay, if this doesn't work out, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to take y'all to all my favorite foodie spots in the hood. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Like, I mean, I still want to get dressed up. Maybe I'll just, like, put my dress on to take pictures or something because, like, I literally never wear dresses or like get dressed up for anything so hopefully this call music doesn't copyright me 
But yeah, if we can't go out somewhere nice, then we gonna go to like Rudy's, we gonna go to Bando Steak, which if you watched my last video, Aaron was like, we're never going back there, but we're gonna go back there. Um, we can go to like um, this potato spot that they got out here. Yeah, so maybe we'll just do that. Ride around and do hood rat shit, okay? <laughs> Like the good old days back in the day before the kids. <laughs> okay, we're here, or I'm here. Aaron's gonna meet me here. He had to finish doing something really fast, and then he's supposed to meet me here. Okay, first impression he's not giving what the pictures was giving, so oh we're gonna see. But I'm gonna give y'all a little, I'm gonna give y'all a little, um, tour. Okay, so door, first walk in. I went by Chick-fil-A. I guess this is where the restroom is. Sink, tub, shower. But to my recollection when I booked, it was a separate tub and shower. And like, am I finna get in it? And if I wanted to, how long does that take to fill up? I don't know okay so then you come over here this thing's loud i don't like these things <laughs> this mm, okay <laughs> but there's a tv down here and then there's an upstairs <sighs> okay this is what the upstairs looks like sink is there something up here a bathroom okay so it's where it listen or if this is not giving I love you want to go downstairs and change my room we got a lot to talk about so hold on let me find a place cause like I don't know Like this is the most like up, like not up to date room, but this is like the best room I feel like you can get, which is why I booked this one. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home or to the, like downtown or something. Cause this is like, I stayed here because like this place like has a, originally when I booked, I had a spa. I thought I was going to be able to get a prenatal massage. Like. It just is like so cold and like, it's not giving. He's supposed to look like this. Can I see that? Who's calling me? This random number keeps calling me. It's supposed to look like that, like a tub like that. I'm gonna go home. I can't even take a bath here. I might as well go home. And it's just like so eerie in here. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm in here by myself. I don't know. I'm not fucking with it though. Um, <laughs> okay, so restaurant wise, I did find, okay, so the Monarch has reservations, but they only have reservations available for four people. And you have to pay like um, $125 per person to set out a window seat. So I called like back again. Did I already tell you guys this? I called back again. 
from the one I was on the phone earlier. And the girl was like, oh, sometimes they just run out of tables for two. So I'm thinking I'm still going to call them at five just to see. Because like if by five o'clock all their tables for four are not reserved, I don't see why they couldn't seat two people. Um, but if not, my backup is Villa Azul. Azor. Basically, it's like this. I don't even know if it would technically be considered an Italian restaurant, but what they're famous for is like pouring the fire in this cheese bowl and making your pasta at the table. And it's a nicer restaurant. It's in Dallas, so. We're gonna see. Okay. Reservation is confirmed for 8 o'clock. Now, what are we gonna do about this damn room? I don't know. Let's go upstairs and get on the case. All of this love is toxic. All of this love is toxic. All these bitches ain't cousin. No shit. You a damn drug, yeah. Toxic. All the sex on replay. We made it to another hotel. We're at the Statler, which is giving me throwback vibes. We stayed here last year, or like around the same time for Aaron's brother's birthday. <sighs> and this is the only suite they had available. I wanted the one with the balcony, but it was booked up for the night. But if you live in Dallas and you like this hotel, you can book it through Airbnb, which I think is cheaper, which I didn't know until we got here. So it's too late, but this is what it looks like. It's a sh there's the over here. And a tub. I'm taking a bath. Last time I didn't get to take a bath, so I'm taking a bath. And then I think the toilet is tucked back here. <sighs> and then this is just the bed and the TV and stuff. <sighs> what time is it? Five? I need to put my phone in the charger. It's five! We need to decide. Oh, we need to decide on the restaurant. So the restaurant that I told y'all that had canceled the reservation earlier, they called back and said they fixed the maintenance issue that we can go. But I already paid the fifty dollar deposit for the other place, so I don't know what to do. I thought we could do this, and it's like they have music and stuff, and kind of like entertainment. And then this is the place that I originally booked for. If you're really looking for a cute date night or girls night out, restaurant. definitely check out RH's Rooftop Restaurant and Bar in Marin. Their elements are very modern and elegant, but everything... Reserve your next date night in Dallas here. RH. Located off Knox. Restaurant is on the third floor. It is absolutely stunning. The first one? Okay, yeah, I already paid a deposit anyway, so that's fine. <sighs> okay, we're in the car now, obviously. We're just gonna go to huh? We're gonna go to Neiman Marcus so he could get a shirt since he came up her parent. But Neiman Marcus gonna close in five minutes. They close at six o'clock, I guess. So I don't know what we're gonna do. And then he said he wanted to have a snack. But we're gonna have to go back to the room by seven so we get ready to leave at eight. So I don't know what type of snack he wants. We should just order the room service. Stuff, bro. I need like some French fries or something, but I ain't ate nothing since oh, the morning type of shit. I had some hash brown, some hash brown. <sighs> oh shit, that's supposed to be right there. Definitely ain't making it to me. <sighs> well, I guess the next time I'll probably see you guys when I'm getting ready because it looked like we're not doing nothing. <laughs> Made it to Neiman Marcus. Aaron got a shirt. I was, they were closing. I was so mad they're closing. I felt like it was a nice Neiman Marcus, but the guy was telling me that. Um, the guy was saying that they don't really have like a wide selection or variety of stuff, but I felt like their Chanel selection was way bigger than at North Park. So I don't know. Maybe North Park just be more crowded and it's inside the mall and this is like a standalone, so it seems like nicer the way they have it like set up but the aesthetic and stuff is prettier to me this guy <laughs> it was hot, oh, hot on oh, it's 
You know where you're going? Mm-hmm. Right food. Huh? Mukbang? Oh, no, they didn't. They got the whole order wrong. What? It's not the order. Oh, maybe it is. Did you get apple pies? Um, I'm tweaking. I didn't eat the apple pies. Strawberry cream pie. I don't know if it's an apple pie. It says pie. It smells like strawberry though. Appetizer? I'm not eating because I'm not going to spoil my appetite before I go to this nice size cheese fireball pasta dinner. And this shit better be good. Because I hate better. when you go to nice places and the food is trash. I would have rather had Bando steak. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to New York. I'm so ready to have this baby. So I go to town. I'm going to get the fuck. It's sad. I wonder if you still have to be vaccinated to go there. Let me know. Y'all let me know. I know what y'all know. Oh, I have a bird. I'm stuck in my head. All these damn hotels down here. Looks like the Adolphus style is supposed to be nice too. We need to go over there. Yeah. I need to get my tourist ass on somewhere like I don't live here. That is so sad. I'm gonna call the babies. See what they doing. And if they miss their mama. I'm sure they do. Hello? Hey, I was just calling to say hi or good night to the kids. Hi. What are you doing? I'm about to go eat dinner. What are you doing? I'm eating a big bag of chicken. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all gonna turn into a chicken, chicken tender. We're having dinner. Okay. Yeah. You have a good day at school? Yeah. Huh? Carson. <laughs> what did he say? Your water right here. Okay. Hi, baby. Yeah. I love you. We're gonna go. To, we're gonna take Luna to the park. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I'll see you in. I'll see you tomorrow after school. Hmm? See you. See you tomorrow. Bye. I love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Shut up. We're gonna have to move rooms. Hello? Hello? Oops. Did it mean? No? I think Carson pushed the button again. I love you. I love you. Bye. Yeah. Did he say no? You love your mommy. I know you do. <laughs> All right. Sorry. All right, bye-bye. I forgot I never showed y'all what Woo! Let me cover my foot. <laughs> big ol', big ol', big ol' belly. I feel like I definitely got more stretch marks this time. That's sad. R.I.P. the belly. Man. <laughs> Can't have nothing. These fucking kids. Fucking me up. Hmm.
not gonna eat nothing when we get to the restaurant. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna smoke and take another shower. You gonna take another shower? I'm gonna get in with you. Oh. Oh, that's safe. Did you see my little tripod or not? No tripod? Wait. What? My tripod. Okay, this is what the dress looks like without the blue tape. But I can't move. You guys can't see the whole thing. I'll show you later. But I can't move from the bottom. So I'm about to try to finesse this situation. I can't see it. So let's see. All of this love is toxic. 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 Okay, anyways, this is what I end up wearing, the lighting, y'all can't really see. I'm wearing my black shoes, because uh, I don't got no other choice. Bag, black shoes. Penny. So this is it. I kind of fixed my hair. It's <laughs> good. How do you feel right now? <laughs> oh my god, Aaron. Don't, don't do that. And it smells so bad. Okay, restaurant review. Um, not giving. It, w it was not giving. I think it's because I don't have, like, an acquired Hello. taste palette, if you will. Hello. Like... You, you there? I just feel like uh, uh, the fancier, the more expensive, the less flavor it be. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just like Dallas type of thing in restaurant foods, whatever the case is. I, I personally would not recommend. But our waiter was cool because he kind of saved us a little bit because I originally went there because I don't know if I showed you guys a TikTok or whatever, but it's the place where they do like the pasta, of the fresh pasta in front of you with like the um, cheese wheel or whatever. And you can do like the fire and at well, y'all see y'all will see a clip, have seen a clip anyways. So okay. Anyways, so 
he was like that the pasta is not seasoned no bueno not good so he was like skip it he was like um if you want to get pasta you should get the ravioli and then i was thinking about getting the chicken breast but it had like a 40 minute cook time but i i could have ended up ordering that because it took a while anyways but oh, excuse me what was i gonna say so yeah the the he said don't get the pasta so i didn't get the pasta so i ended up getting the ravioli and what else did i get the mashed potatoes were good but that was the only damn thing that was good aaron ordered a seafood platter <laughs> And then it came on ice and I guess he wanted it hot. I don't eat seafood, so I don't know how that shit works. But so he didn't get so they took that back and then he ordered steak instead and then some fried lobster. And then he said the fried lobster wasn't good either. So I didn't end up eating a lot of my food. It wasn't nasty, but it wasn't like it's just, you know, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. I have no idea. I think maybe walk around a little bit. <gasps> but shit, I'm yawning like I'm fucking tired. I don't want to go to sleep. Shit. <laughs> shit. Damn, I'm tired though. But the restaurant itself, like, it looked nice. It's inside of the W Hotel, um, which is actually where we had our prom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look real good, pregnant. Make that pregnant shit the staff. <gasps> what do you want to do? Want to get ice cream? Are we late? I think we're boring. I, I really think we're boring. Really? I think we're pretty live. Bunch of baby making. My feet are so bad with food. Yeah. This stuff is hella small. This is like smaller than our club at home. This is so little. We're about to go to Crema Street, even though Aaron's sleepy. You're not sleepy? It's just me, huh? Yeah, I'm not really that tired anymore. I just want you close. Now I'm just Turn left onto South Harwood. Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away And the love of a woman that can take your spot My love So don't give away Clothes They wear clothes My love So don't give away And the love of a woman that can take your spot My love Okay, so where did we go first? Crema Street? Closed. They're open till 12 on the weekends, but it's Thursday. But on maps, it said they were open. Mm. So we went to Insomnia Cookies instead. Um, we got a vanilla ice cream. Would you get a monster? Ice cream. Anyways, it was it was a real interesting um 
ordering process. They ain't even had shit. Dang, they didn't even give us all our sugar cookies. I asked for a sugar cookie and a chocolate chip. Hey, some hoes. Oh, my mama. Horse. Okay, well, I got a sugar cookie and chocolate chip, and Aaron got a sugar cookie and chocolate chip too, and they only gave us one sugar cookie and two chocolate chips. Why are we having such, well, I don't know, I guess it's just me, because I've been like that all day. I've been taking L after L after L. Like, what is going on? I really have too. God is telling me I need to just go to sleep, bitch, because you're doing too much. Mm -hmm. I need to. I think it was somebody on Instagram put some voodoo on me or something. You know what we need? What? Did you say what we needed in the first place? Some sage? <laughs> what? Some water. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and the kitchen closed like a bitch. We can't even get no water to go to. It's just 7 Eleven on the corner. What's wrong? Old. Huh? No, we could just go, give the car to the valet and then walk. It's right there. We gotta get some water. I gotta get some water before I go to sleep. I shall see you all in the morning. Gushers at 9 a.m. I have my shower cap on because I'm about to take a shower in a second. But it's 9 o'clock. Can y'all see that? It's 9 o'clock. Anyways, I have never, not ne not let me say never, but I don't remember the last time I got to sleep in until 9 o'clock. Like, I feel like half the day is over. It's 9 o'clock. <laughs> I did still, like, my body still woke up at normal time, so I woke up at 6.40, went to the bathroom, and then lay back down and got some sleep, and I feel amazing. Okay. Yeah, all in all, it was a good, it was a good night. We didn't do a lot. I mean, granted, I'm pregnant. I feel like if there was a little bit of liquor involved, maybe things would have been a little different. <laughs> um, it was cool. I feel like even though a lot of things went wrong, I try to not be one of those people who like lets it consume my entire day because like what is the point of that so this vlog was very chaotic one everything did not go you know as I planned it but shit we did it okay we got through the night <laughs> so yeah I don't know if we're gonna go eat breakfast or not um, but if not, this is where I'm going to close out this vlog. <laughs> Excuse me. Because <clears throat> it's now Friday and I am nine months pregnant. And I have an OB appointment and we need to pack my hospital bag because in the last, last video, or the video before this one, I told you guys, like, I, I had thought that my water broke or whatever and I got some postpartum things, but I still haven't packed my hospital bag, so... Today we're gonna like just transition into preparing for labor type of vlog. So yeah, we have a 36 week appointment. We got to pack our hospital bag. We're gonna try some things that are supposed to like help your labor be easier, like as far as like food wise, like red raspberry leaf tea, stuff like that. And we can have a baby at any minute now, okay? So brace yourselves. <laughs> Hopefully the next time I see you guys, the baby's still in my belly, but yeah, that's my little spiel. If we go to breakfast, of course, I'll take you guys with us, um, but if not, then I'll see you on another day.